back with three Q's interviews. This is <laughs> <laughs> Dr. McIntyre Sultanen. She's actually my academic advisor here, and she has worked in obstetrics and gynecology for a number of years. A lot of years. A lot of years. Uh, could you go ahead and introduce yourself and say maybe how you chose yeah. that field? I'm Kathy McIntyre Sultanen. I have been in OBGYN longer than anyone would care to remember, longer <laughs> than you've been alive. Um, I really love my field. I think it's the best field ever. Mm -hmm. um, I love the fact that we do some medicine, we do some surgery, we do a lot of longitudinal primary care. On the other hand, we see emergencies and can you know, come in on a big adrenaline uh, rush and save the day, and it's a really nice combination of all of those things. That's unique. A lot of people talk about having a breadth of specialty and having different skills. Yeah, I just really like that about what we do. And we deliver babies. Like, there's nothing better than that. So, that's awesome. I um, actually just got to hold a baby right before this. So. That's pretty exciting. Yeah, it's pretty fun. It's a pretty fun part of what we do. But there's a lot more to it than just babies. Fantastic. So what's kind of day-to-day -day now for you like? So for me, I do just gynecology now. Mm -hmm. I, I love OB. I don't do it for... Um, because the way our department is structured, everybody's responsibilities are very separated, but not because I don't love it, just because it doesn't sort of fit into the structure of my department. So my day is I spend probably half my time in clinic seeing out patients, and I see both, you know, general pretty healthy people. I see people with specific gynecologic issues or problems. As an academic person, I see people with complex problems that oftentimes can't be addressed comfortably in the community. So it's a nice combination there, too, of all the routine stuff. I don't want to say the stuff, I don't want to say uninteresting, but the right. stuff that's, that's very routine most of the time never gets to us. So we have a pretty concentrated and focused practice of of stuff that's a little off the beaten track. I have also done a lot of general routine gynecologic care, which mm -hmm. is also fun. But it keeps things interesting. It keeps things interesting. <laughs> I'm in clinic, like I said, about half the time. I'm in the operating room. Um, on average, I'm going to say maybe a day a week-ish, mm -hmm. something like that. Um, and I do the full breadth of gynecologic surgeries. Awesome. Kind of stem to stern. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, and one of the things that's unique about gynecology is that we do abdominal surgery, we do laparoscopic surgery, and we do vaginal surgery. So we can pick and choose among all those different routes, which is pretty cool, too. Awesome. To that's... learn a lot of different anatomy and directions of solving problems, and it's pretty fun. Problem so solving like, is critical. Yep, yep, <laughs> I like that part of what I do. And as you mentioned, I'm your advisory dean, and I actually love being an advisory dean. Which it's has helped been, me along the yeah. way so far, and it's been fantastic. So. Well, thanks for that. And I just, I really like that part of my job. Yeah. So that, I spend time doing that as well. I definitely well. appreciate your enthusiasm and effort you put in there. Yeah, so. it's fun. And I, you know, I give some lectures, do some teaching, a little this, a little that. Uh, I have done research. I'm not really actively involved in research now, but I have been in the past and, in fact, have been involved in big um, national NIH studies that have changed practice, which is also kind of cool. That is very cool. And that's something that you get to see when you go into academic medicine as yep. opposed to doing private medicine. So. Yeah. Well, it's nice to be in a position where you're the person who does the work that creates the guidelines yeah. that are that are used in practice and that's that's a very satisfying thing to get to change the standard of care. Yeah, is... it's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Okay, so we'll do our three cues here. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> okay, so what is the most interesting thing you carry in your white coat maybe when you're seeing patients or doing examinations? So, I actually don't wear a white coat anymore partly because the older I get, the less tools I need, <laughs> the less things I need to carry with me, and partly because I had trouble keeping my white coat very clean and white, <laughs> so I don't wear a white coat much, but um, 
even in the land of gynecology, he still needs a stethoscope. Mm -hmm. So I use that. There you go. And um, I carry gloves because <laughs> you got to do an exam, yeah. and I, I sort of believe in the power of history and physical exam. That's fantastic. Okay, number two, what is your favorite snack on a busy clinic day? Oh, man. You know, in the land of salty versus sweet, I'm a salty snack person. Oh, yeah, I'm so right there with pretzels. you. Pretzels. <laughs> the pretzels have to be in clinic. Get a little crunch. A little crunch, a little yeah. salt, a little water. There you go. And coffee. I'm an inveterate <laughs> coffee drinker, and I usually do have oh. a, a coffee cup attached to me oh, at all wonderful. times. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> I've it actually says, never had a cup of coffee. Really? Yeah, never had a cup. I'm impressed with that. <laughs> well, this cup says, this place is a nut house. Oh. It has a picture of a squirrel on it. So. There you go. And it goes with me everywhere I go. And if I leave it somewhere, somebody always tells me, and I always go back and pick they, it up. They, so. know the, they know where yeah, the nut house really. <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> okay, and then number three, we can do, what is your, <laughs> if you had to pick an animal to be a patient, <laughs> to do an examination to treat, what would your, oh, what gosh. would you pick? That is such a hard choice, but yeah. I think I think that a dolphin or a whale would be cool because, um, I mean, they're mammals. They deliver their babies the same way we do, but right. deliver them into the water. Oh. And how they, like, keep that baby from floating away. And <laughs> how they, you know, other animals, you have a baby, you know, you squat in the field, the baby comes out, right? Yeah. If you're a sheep or something, but... In the water, yeah. In the water, like how do they keep track of those things? Maybe I that's what that the umbilical would be cords just for. like I know, but sooner or later <laughs> it has to be broken. So I think that would be pretty interesting. All right, well, KMS, thank you very much. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks for thinking of me. <laughs>